Apple's foray into the mixed reality headset market with the Vision Pro has generated a whirlwind of opinions. Priced at $3,500 and set to hit the shelves in 2024 worldwide, the Vision Pro promises a blend of augmented and virtual reality experiences. However, the skepticism looms large, with concerns ranging from design aesthetics to potential market reception. Today, we explore the arguments against Apple's Vision Pro and assess whether it could be a groundbreaking innovation or a misstep for the tech giant. We fear it may be the latter. Here's why the Apple Vision Pro will be a failure. So let's take a closer look at the Vision Pro. Critics argue that the Vision Pro, while advanced in its specifications, falls into the same pitfalls as its predecessors, such as Meta's Quest Pro, the Microsoft HoloLens, and the Google Glass. The common challenge faced by these devices is the reluctance of users to embrace alternative reality headsets for daily use. <laughs> Over the past two decades, successful Apple products have seamlessly become integral parts of our lives. Think of the iPhone neatly tucked into our pockets, the iPad finding space in our backpacks, the Apple Watch adorning our wrists, and the AirPods comfortably resting in our ears. However, the recent Vision Pro diverges significantly from this trend. Unlike most modern Apple devices, the Vision Pro doesn't effortlessly fade into the background. Instead, it settles onto the face, concealing the eyes, essential sensory organs that contribute significantly to the human experience. Whilst this intrusion aligns with other virtual reality headsets and augmented reality glasses, it represents a departure for Apple products in making such a direct impact on people's lives. Tuong Nguyen from Gartner Research describes the head-in-the-box dilemma in VR, which reflects a fundamental challenge for Apple. Whilst Apple's Vision Pro offers advanced features, it confines users to a virtual space with a reliance on screens for real-world visuals. This limitation raises concerns about screen reliability, as users may experience issues like stuttering or crashes, especially in critical situations where, for example, someone might be using the Vision Pro near a busy street. The dilemma underscores the need for VR devices to seamlessly integrate with the real world to ensure a safe and reliable user experience. A significant concern revolves around the Vision Pro's design, described as a big honking gizmo that obscures the wearer's eyes, a crucial part of the human experience. The headset's lack of subtlety also raises questions about its social acceptability, a factor that has hindered the success of previous AR and VR devices. Even Apple employees harbor reservations about the Vision Pro, recognizing the challenge of selling it on a conceptual level. The device faces criticism not only for its perceived lack of conceptual appeal, but also for its flawed execution. The current offering presents a modest improvement to the aesthetics of a somewhat uncool-looking headset genre, resembling traditional nerd goggles. Interestingly, Apple is aware of this, as evidenced by the absence of photos featuring high-ranking figures like Tim Cook wearing the device, raising the question about the company's confidence in its own product. Recent reports also suggest discomfort and potential delays in the widespread availability of the Vision Pro, indicating the hurdles that Apple faces in bringing this intricate product to market. The Vision Pro's lackluster reception has underscored a fundamental truth. The demand for daily use headsets is conspicuously absent. Nobody wants it. Even the customary enthusiastic response to a major Apple announcement has been dampened, with skeptics highlighting the graveyard of failures in the VR and AR markets. They're goofy. Another aspect yet to be explored is the inherent goofiness factor of VR. These headsets simply don't exude coolness. An Apple promotional video featuring someone donning the Vision Pro on an airplane ride seemed detached from reality, as none of the fellow passengers paid attention to the peculiar, goggle-clad face. The prospect of sitting on a plane with a massive virtual screen for Netflix viewing is dismissed as embarrassingly impractical. While VR headsets may evolve to become slimmer and less cumbersome in the coming years, the challenge of overcoming the isolation associated with immersive experiences remains. Apple's promotional video depicts individuals strapping on the Vision Pro with battery packs in their pockets to enjoy movies on their personal gigantic screens alone on their couches. As for the battery, it comes as a separate accessory that you have to insert into a pocket and connect to the headset through a cable. However, Apple seems to have overlooked the fact that not everyone will be wearing clothes with pockets while using the headset. 
leaving users with no convenient place for the battery pack. This appears to be a notable oversight, leading Apple to reportedly contemplate suggesting accessory manufacturers design shoulder-worn pouches to address this peculiar challenge. The Vision Pro's hefty price tag at $3,500 at entry level has raised eyebrows, creating a high barrier to entry for many potential users. Too expensive. This pricing strategy could limit the device's market penetration and hinder developer support, which is essential for sustaining a vibrant ecosystem of applications and experiences. The Vision Pro is significantly more expensive than Meta's Quest Pro. Reports from product testers indicate discomfort for individuals with smaller body sizes and heads, potentially limiting the headset's wearability to short durations. The need for a product seal around the edges of the headset verified through an iPhone app introduces additional complexities during the fitting process, requiring more Apple Store staff assistance. There's also the issue of VR fatigue, where users lose interest in the technology after an initial period of excitement. The absence of emphasis on social media integration in Apple's presentation also raises concerns about the device's ability to align with contemporary digital habits. Social media dominates smartphones, and it leaves us with the question of whether the Vision Pro can seamlessly transition users away from these established platforms. Speaking of social integration, the Vision Pro is widely criticized for its perceived antisocial nature, exemplified by a promotional image depicting a father immersed in the device while his children play nearby. This scene, reminiscent of a dystopian cartoon, raises concerns about the device potentially isolating individuals from real-world interactions. Despite Apple's claim of enhanced social features, promotional demonstrations predominantly showcase users alone in their homes connecting with distant friends, fueling skepticism about the headset's true impact on social dynamics. Interestingly, the success of the Vision Pro introduces a unique challenge for Apple as it thrives when the other Apple devices face setbacks. Unlike Apple's usual ecosystem that promotes multitasking and coexistence of devices, the Vision Pro is positioned to replace the displays of various Apple products, rendering them practically useless when the headset is in use. The integrated audio drivers make even the use of AirPods redundant. This puts Apple's own hardware at risk, as users may find less incentive to invest in devices like Apple TV, Apple Pro Displays, iMacs, iPads, or even Apple Pencils, when the Vision Pro offers an all-encompassing experience. The success of the Vision Pro relies on users refraining from using other Apple devices, creating a unique dilemma for the company. If users prefer collaborative work on a MacBook or iPad, or enjoy group movie watching on an Apple TV, the personalized mixed reality headset might face instant resistance in replacing these shared experiences. While the Vision Pro undoubtedly boasts impressive features and capabilities, it faces a myriad of challenges that could impede its widespread adoption. From design issues to pricing concerns and potential discomfort, Apple's ambitious venture into mixed reality headsets may not be the revolutionary success some anticipate. Let us know what you think in the comments below.